How you doing? Welcome back to the workshop. As you might be aware, I left secondary school and I'm about to start uni in a month and I wanted to make a leaving present for my school and uh, I've decided that is going to be a scoreboard. And this isn't just going to be any scoreboard, it's going to have a nice oak frame, some lime wood carving, some stained veneer on the back. This is going to be really cool and I can't wait to actually give it to them. Right, so my plan is to get a piece of plywood veneer it, have a nice oak frame, the house names will be carved into lime wood. The way the score is going to be presented, I want to make these miniature chalkboards with an oak frame around it next to the house name. I didn't want the, the number scoring system where you flip the number down and then you got the new number because people can just flip that and mess around the scores. If it's a chalkboard, they can't really change the score, they can rub it out but then you can just rewrite it, it's fine. So that's the plan and we're going to get started on the first step which is veneering the plywood. So what I need to do now is get some plywood and cut it down to size and then we can get gluing. Right, so I got the backboard all cut down to size and I think it's time to make the oak frame now. So I'm gonna get some wood. I've got this old plank from a previous project and I think if I rip this down into some strips, cut some mitres on it, it might turn out to be a nice frame. So, let's do that now. Alright, so it's the next day. Last night I finished off the rebates or rabbits, whatever we want to call it, and it's looking very nice. Now it's time to add a chamfer on all the corners. On the back side, uh, I'm going to do a. Mm, I want to add two small chamfers. Uh, not sure how deep I want to make them yet, but we'll see how it looks.
the frame is going very well. I've added some screws into the splines to strengthen it a bit more. Uh, so there's no way the splines will pop out because it's screwed on each side of the frame. I just want to add one more measure of support onto the frame. Uh, the plywood I added onto the back had a tiny bit of a bow into it. So over time, you never know, the glue might fail and it might pop back out again. So I'm going to add some screws around the edge to keep the plywood in place. So just to explain what the school board is for, when I was at school we had competitive houses, the whole school was divided into three houses, they were called Kiplings, Roberts or Speakers, don't ask me why, I don't know why they chose those names, but we're all completing in various competitions throughout the year, and at the end of the year the house with the most points won the Jessel Shield, again I don't know why they chose that name. Can you believe it, the whole seven years I was at the school there was never a school board, so no one knew what the uh, score was throughout the year and we just found out at the very end which house had the most points and I thought there was no team spirit we need to have a scoreboard so then people know where their house is at during the year if you know what I'm saying
scoreboard. What a project this has been. It's taken a few days, but I'm very happy with the result. The Danish oil has given a very nice finish. The oil has really made the wood pop and kind of give it a much richer colour. So just to show you everything that's on the board, is we've got the splines on the back to keep it together for a very long time. Uh, we've got screws in the back as well to make sure this does not fall apart. Uh, we've got the two shields either side, that's kind of the logo. So at the top it says the Jessel shield, that's what the houses play for. We've got Kipling's, Roberts and Speakers. My house was Kipling's, we always won. In fact, I actually remembered, I haven't finished the board. That was normally the score at the end of the year, uh, we, we were that amazing. If you wanted to know what the veneer at the back of the board was, that is stained poplar. You can get poplar in lots of different colours. You may have seen me use this blackwood before, some people thought that was ebony veneer. I don't think you can actually get ebony veneer, this is poplar stained black to look like ebony. So if you go to a local wood shop, you should find red, blue, lots of different colours and they're great to work with. So I think I've done enough talking now, you're probably sick of hearing my voice. So I hope you enjoyed this video, hope you're inspired to try out some uh, letter carving for yourself. It's much easier than it looks, so give it a go. Remember, if you like the video, feel free to give it a like. If you have any questions, comment down below. And if you're new to this channel, of course subscribe. Why not? It's free. So thank you very much for watching, and I'm already looking forward to seeing you in the next video.